That's green. That's green, green. Super green. Super green. Super green. What's up, everybody? It's Tucker here for another Tucked Away Tuesday video talking all things rental, hosting, and travel. I am still down here in Florida, fully enjoying this beautiful little rental. It has a pool. The beds are comfortable, so I'm sleeping great. It's close to the water. It's down the street from my nieces. I am in paradise. For a closer look at this space that I've been enjoying, I made a video last week touring the home. Hop over at the end of this video to take a look around. However, all good things must come to an end and I am heading out on the road later this afternoon. But before I do that, I wanted to get a few more minutes with you in today's video to share my story of how I got into hosting my home on Airbnb, how it's changed my life for the better, and why I'd recommend it to just about anyone who will listen. As we're going through this, if at any point there's something that you're getting out of it, please take a moment to hit that like button and then subscribe to this channel for more of my travel tips and tricks. Okay, so where do we even begin here? Um, let's go back seven years to the time I guess you could say I fell into hosting by accident. It was kind of an interest more than it was a necessity. I'd owned my home but found that it was more than I needed just for myself, so I split it into two units the main house, and an in-law suite. I didn't need to live in the whole house by myself, and I also didn't really want roommates, so I thought, hey, I'd rather have tenants than roommates, people who'd help me cover the costs of living there. At the time, I owned a restaurant, and I was heavily involved in a video production company in New York City. Working two jobs meant I was spending most of my time away from home. The majority of my weeks were divided. Five days of the week, I was at the office in New York City or on the road shooting and producing. And then the weekends I was at the restaurant. I was finding I was spending more and more time away from the home than I was at it. Home sharing was just growing in popularity and I had some personal experience in traveling through Airbnb. It all started with just an initial interest in sharing my space that I'd created with potentially like-minded people who might be looking for a getaway. I live on a small lake an hour outside of New York City and personally I've always found it to be a great spot to retreat from the busy world and relax for a bit and thought, Maybe some other people might find it to be the same. So I said, you know what? The house will be empty anyways, so let me just give it a try. At the very least, I'm gonna see how it works. I had an interest, that's all it was. Just an interest in knowing how this platform happened to work. So I put myself out there. I went online to Airbnb and I created a profile. I took some pretty mediocre pictures and I did my best to explain who I am and paint a picture of my home. And almost immediately, like that, I got my first booking. It was a weekend that I was already away for work, so it lined up with my schedule pretty perfectly. I found out quickly that people were interested in what I had. One booking turned to two, two turned to four, and before you knew it, my entire summer that first year was booked solid with people who were interested in coming to stay in my home. What started as a small curiosity really became a passion. I found out that not only did people like coming to my home and feeling a connection to it, but I really grew to love hosting people and seeing them connect to a space which I poured my heart and soul into as well. What turned from interest into passion was never meant to become a business, but in the end that year, I was able to cover my costs of my taxes on the home, a welcome benefit for something that I'd fallen into. Now, fast forward three years of doing it mostly part-time, when I was on the road shooting, or if I was away with family on vacation, or if I happened to be on holiday myself, I would list my home and always seem to find people looking for what I was offering. And it became a means not only for me to help, to help support myself, but to create a life which was a bit more along the lines of what I always pictured for myself. A little out of the ordinary, not your typical way of living, but something that I connected to deeply. But my greater joy was getting to see people experience my home in new ways and get to connect with people from all over the world. People who get to make memories in my space and who grow to love the place that I love. Now, while all of this was happening, I found myself in some pretty difficult personal situations, parting ways with the business in New York City and facing the potential closure of my restaurant. I was having long sleepless nights kept up with the worry of floating a failing business. At that point, I had owned it for myself for the past six years. What was at one point in time a source of joy my income, my livelihood, and opportunity to bring value to people as well as to myself started becoming a source of anxiety and concern. I was experiencing a lot of fear and worry about what will happen if my business goes under. And if it does go under, or I choose to close it because I can't continue to operate it, then what am I gonna do with my home? How am I gonna continue to pay for this? But something triggered in me, and it was the reminder that there are people out there that love my home in the same way that I love it. That this is a place that I created which is a sanctuary for myself 
and has become that for other people. And that little reminder was in one way the hope that I needed to have peace about moving on from the restaurant. To say that if I have to close my business, at least I won't have to sell my home. At the very least, through operating my home as a small business and hosting guests for short-term rentals, then at least I can cover the cost of the home. And that was the solution that I needed to give me the hope and the peace of mind to move on from the struggles that I was experiencing in the restaurant and step into the next phase of my life. And that is the beauty of what hosting gave me. That not only did I experience a connection serving people, but that it gave us a mutual value. They experienced a wonderful place to vacation, and I was compensated for welcoming them into my home and into my life. But it also triggered this passion, a realization that I love doing this. I love sharing my home with people and seeing that brightness light up in their eyes. Of seeing that smile stretch across their face as they sit next to that fire and watch the sunset over the lake. And I thought to myself, if only a brief notion, why don't other people feel this? Why do I feel like I'm the only one who's experiencing this? And I know that's not the case because over the past 10 years, countless people, literally millions across the world have started doing this to hosting strangers turned new friends in their home by opening up their doors and sharing their space with them. So if they're doing that, are they experiencing the same joy that I am? Are they experiencing the same success that I am? And as I began to ask these questions, I was stepping into the unknown of my own life. I started casting it out there and saying, you know what? If I'm good at this, maybe I can share it with others. And if this is something that people want, I have to believe that there's more that I can offer people. So what I began to do with my home grew to me hosting another home, and then another home. And then after that, another year and a half later, I found that I had a small portfolio, six homes that I was renting for short-term stays. Guests coming from all over the world for a variety of different reasons and building memories in a space that I have helped to make for them. And I was creating not just a living for myself, but creating a value for other people. I realized I was creating not just value, but a peace of mind for people. That these homeowners don't have to worry about their home. That they don't have to fear or go to bed anxious about whether they're going to be able to pay their tax bill at the end of the year. Or at the very least thinking, I'm grateful to have this house that I can enjoy but I also don't have to feel guilty knowing it's sitting vacant. So what I have been able to bring is not only the peace of mind, but also share in that joy that I experience hosting with other people. When they can see the positive reviews and memories made of people experiencing their home in the same way, to maybe connecting with those people who say, I love your place, thank you for having us. Year after year, I have people who now come back because they've shared a connection with that space. They've shared a connection with me and the experience that I've offered them. This is why I do this. I do this because it brings me joy, and I know it brings joy to other people. I share this with you because maybe you have the opportunity to do the same thing. That although you might not have the experience or the expertise, maybe the training or the information, whatever knowledge you think you need for this, you might not have it yet, but you probably have the passion. You probably have the heart and the will to be able to succeed in a way that is going to not only give you financial success, but bring value to people who need it the most by opening up your home and sharing it with others. It's just the pool guy. Let's wait. That's better. Okay, let's do this. When I reflect on my seven years of experience in this business, I am so grateful I get to do this. I'm grateful for those early moments of inspiration that forced me to take the uncomfortable action to open up my home to potential friends. I don't know what would have happened or where I'd be if I didn't take those initial steps. In losing my business, would I have kept my home? Without this, would I have been able to afford to stay in the house I'd grown to love? I don't really know, but I'm so grateful that I don't have to. For all the thousands of reasons that I could have in making these videos, this is the main one that I can share what I've learned so that maybe someone out there can feel inspired to take the same step that I did seven years ago. It was messy, but out of that came a message that I just love telling, that people can know the joy in sharing the blessing of their home with other people. And ultimately, with some of the things that I've learned through trial and error, that they can succeed even more than I ever did. If that is you and you're looking to rent your home, I'd love for this channel to be a resource of help on your journey. If you're a host or looking to get into it, in the comments below, let me know what excites you most about hosting. And if you have yet to start doing it, I have a link in the bio below for you to get a discount by signing up as a host through Airbnb. I hope you use that when registering your account. 
Before we go, please make sure to subscribe for weekly updates. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Safe travels, happy hosting, and God bless.